Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Eatra Seals Crossroads. Today, Anna Leung is going to take a look at Type and Speak for Android. So let's take a look. Hi, this is Anna Leung at Easter Seals Crossroads. Today I want to show you a free Android app called Type and Speak. You can find that at the Google Play Store. This Type and Speak app can help you see and hear what you type. You can also make it type in larger font. You can also copy and paste any text from other apps or platforms like an ebook, an article in a website, a note you jot it down, etc. If you feel that you learn better when a voice reads out loud your notes, it assists the app for you. It allows you to save and convert the notes into a sound file so that you can listen to them later. How does it work? Let me start with typing a sentence. Indianapolis is the capital and the largest city of the state of Indiana. After typing, you can just hit the speak button on the left to make it speak out loud what you type. You can also turn on the speak while typing feature to make it speak word by word when you're typing. How to turn it on? Just go to the properties button on the right in the middle of the screen. Uh, I hit the wrong button, so let me go back again. On the right, the second button from the left, so it is right next to the globe. You tap on it and then you'll find the option speak while typing and check the box. So let me demonstrate again by typing one more time. Dot. Indianapolis is the capital and the largest city of the state of Indiana. There you go. This app is compatible with TalkBack and Voice Assistant. The built-in screen readers of various Android devices. If you use a screen reader, it's better to turn off this feature, Speak While Typing, to avoid listening to two voices speaking at the same time. To save and convert your notes, just hit the floppy disk button called the Save button on the right. It will then prompt you to type in the name of the file. And then hit the Save button once you type in the name of the file. Then you'll find that it's converting it as a WAV file, W-A-V file, and then you hit OK. To retrieve the files, hit the last folder button on the right called the Library button. You'll then find your list of previous saved files. After you save the notes, just hit the... Um, let me go back. After you save the files, you do not need the text on the screen. Then all you have to do is just hit the Trash Bin button on the right. So that is the button uh, next to the save button. And then hit the clear button. Then all the text on the screen will be cleared. Then you can start over with new notes. You can check the box use larger font when you activate that properties button, like this one. You can also adjust the pitch and speed settings after um, on the, in the same properties button. Here's your tech tip of the day. Thank you for watching. That's a great look at Type and Speak for Android. That's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.